Hey guys, so I wanted to film my Sassy Saturday. This is Sassy Saturday 13, 14, 15. I can't remember. And I think I'm going to have to stop saying um, all like the numbers now because I keep forgetting when I go to film it. So let's go ahead and get, well, let's go ahead and like talk and then I'll get into the products um, a little bit. I have been gone for like a week and a, a week and a half, longer than a week. I don't really remember. I love this lip color. Okay, that'll be in this video. But, um, because I had to have surgery on my arm, under my arm, and no. I have like an, I had like an abscess or something under my arm. So I was like dealing with that, and like before I even like had the surgery though, I like wasn't doing anything. Like I couldn't get dressed or anything because like I couldn't raise my arm or anything. So... I was just sitting around the house doing nothing. I really was like, oh, I miss YouTube and all that. But I couldn't do anything because I, I just could not. I literally could not put my hair up into a ponytail, which is what I wanted to do because I didn't want to deal with it. There's a fuzz on my lip. But I am still having an arm problem. Like it came back or something, but then it opened back up. So now it feels a lot better because I was able to put my hair up in this crazy freaking bun. Like, look at this. You can see through. And these are my, my hair. I don't know what that is actually, but like you can see through my bun. I don't care. You can't see it. But, um, yeah, so that's going on right now. And I have some like padding things under there to just keep it from whatever. But yeah, they had to cut it open and all this stuff. And when I went to the ER on like a Wednesday and it's just craziness so I don't know what's going on with my arm now I probably have to get something my mom thinks that they're gonna put in like a drain I don't know what that means that kind of frightened me I don't know what that is I don't want that I just like it the way it is I'm filming okay. I know it's lunch dinner whatever I'm filming okay so that's basically it sorry this is my mom that's basically where I've been. I've been sitting here like wishing that I could do my videos, but I did film uh, after I thought I felt better and then it came back recently, probably about a week ago, and then it reopened like two days, like a day ago. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully it gets all fixed out somehow and I don't have to go to the hospital for it because they were going to admit me and I was like, oh my gosh, no. They did an ultrasound on this too. I was going to vlog when I was there, but then I was like, I look like crap. I can't show my face. There's just no way. Like, I looked like, like death. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the products. Guys, I missed you so much. You have no idea. I really love just getting in front of this camera and talking to you guys. I just love it. I don't know why. I just do. It's just amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys support me all the way through. And it's amazing. I love you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. One of my favorites, which is actually in my empties video, which will be linked down below. And I don't have my phone on me right now, so I can't do video recap. But video recap will be down below for you guys. Um, but this is one of my favorites, my Olay Professional Pro X Exfoliating Renewal Cleanser. Looks like this. Um, I can't show you what it looks like because it's all gone, but it's my favorite cleanser ever. If you have bumpy skin or very, like, just rough skin this works. It got with the brush. There's a Pro-X system and it comes with a brush, this, and there's some other thing that it comes with, but I don't use that. I don't know what it is. I think my mom took it. Uh, but this stuff works. It gets rid of your rough skin. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but right under my eye here, or maybe you've seen in other videos, um, this, it's really just bumpy and rough. And this side, it's not like that anymore. Like, it's completely fixed because I was super fixated on this side because I had a calcium deposit spot here. It finally, like, popped and all that because of this whole thing. So, I'm glad I don't have that anymore. But I think I'm getting, like, a teeny tiny one. But I can just repurchase this, which I definitely will be um, because I love it. If you want a huge review on it, um, definitely let me know because I would love to. Okay, I have a couple of, and if you can see the back of my hair, like, or like this from the side, I don't know what's going on. I don't really care. I got ready at like 6, and I was like, or no, I got ready at 5, because I was like, I really need to film. So yeah. Anyway, I have two f favorites, perfume favorites. This one, is for fall time actually. Uh, this one is the Katy Perry, uh, what is this one, Purr? 
love it. Oh, look at this. I'm like, I'm not halfway through it, but like, you know, three-fourths of the way through it, I guess. Or four, I don't know. A fourth of the way through it, I meant. I don't want to smear this. It's just like, mm, like date night, like, love it. I love it. I never, I smelt the meow one, but I didn't get it. Or I think it's called that. But the pink one, I really like that one. I never got it, though. Unfortunately. And then this other one for, like, the day. Because I like to wear that one out. Oh my gosh. Oh. I thought I broke it. I don't know what this is called. Raspberry Vanilla. Yeah, it's raspberry vanilla. I can't get it out of here right now, sorry. Um, but I got it for Christmas forever ago, and I'm... I don't even know. This bottle is colored. I'm, like, really close to the bottom. But see, like, I have a cover on it, so I don't know. I can't tell you. But it's raspberry vanilla. So I really like the scent for during the day because I love, like, the scent of berries in the fall. I really like pumpkin and cinnamon and all of that, but... Guys, I have so much perfume I didn't realize that I had. I'm like, I can't buy any. Like, I might buy, like, the bacterials of it because I use that really quickly. But other than that, no. Okay, moving on to, oh, yes, this hair product. I got random things in here. It's not a product, but it's um a brush. This Paul Mitchell teasing brush is amazing. Now, I know there's probably, like, similar ones at Sally's, but anything with, like, this tiered bristle going on here is amazing with the pick on the end. I just love it, love it, love it. It's, it just smooths back your hair for you. You can pick out your side bangs if you want to. This is all I use to put this up because I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm sure, I know Sally's does. They're like purple. They're like really fun color. Chow LXO, May, Megan, she has one from Sally's and I don't know what it's called, but go check it out because she talks about it a lot. So go check out her channel. Um, okay, these two antibacterials, they were also in my uh, empties video. Um, the Pink Sugar Plum, just used it up today. I freaking love this stuff. You know that this is a Bath and Body Work Christmas scent. They better bring it back because they brought Frosted Snowberry into that collection, which is also a favorite. I love both of these guys. Let's just smell them. This one smells like cotton candy, like vanilla cotton candy. Mm, I, mm, I love it and then the packaging is so cute like look at this little penguin and look at this little like wiener dog it's so cute okay um and then this one smells like raspberry yeah it smells like raspberry like candied raspberries oh my god so good so I can't wait to like buy those up again okay and then one other weird thing um well it's not a weird thing but it's not a beauty item I guess is this wallet if you have not seen my wallet review for this wallet um, and this wallet oh, show wallet peacock wallet oh my god I love this it's so amazingly beautiful I love it normally I'm like oh I just want one that's plain colored or whatever but because I haven't been able to find what I liked I really like this one um, so I did a review on these for you guys I'll link it down below because it'll be a part of my video recap but oh my god look how pretty it's so cute and like paisley and i really think it's for fall time um so i love it look at this look at this guys it's so cute anyway it's like present day like i don't really film ahead that much today is the 23rd and tonight is coven american horror story coven do any of you guys watch american horror story coven that is one of my favorite shows like all of the american horror stories i liked the first one i liked the second one even though it got a little weird i loved it anyway and then the third one now i'm loving it even more like it's the best like i freaking want to be emma roberts in that movie and just be like whatever but i'm not that's mean okay moving on to what i have on my lips because i love this and i literally I just put it on today because I was like, oh, I remember that lip color I used to wear. I'm going to try it again. So really all it is is two products and it lasts all day once this part wears off, this little thing here. Um, okay, so the first thing that I do is I moisturize like always. And then the second thing, which I think this is going to be in an upcoming tutorial that I want to do, uh, Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in Plum. So here it is. And it looks like, I guess it does look plum. When I was in the store, I remember when I bought this, sorry the lighting got weird, I remember when I bought this a while back and the lighting in the store made it look like it was a crimson red or something, well like it's just a dark red, I'm not sure if that was the right word, but 
when I took it home, it was like plum, and I was like, you know what, that'll work. So it still worked out perfectly. I just thought that this was going to be red or something, like a vampy look. Okay, and then the lip gloss that I put over the top of it, I fill it in with that, line my lips, fill it in with that. And then with this lip gloss, I go over it in the L'Oreal Paris Le Gloss line in Mystic Mauve. But you have to be careful with these because I f they, they are oil based. I'm pretty sure like it feels like that. It looks like that. You have to like shake it up because sometimes like just, you'll just get a glob of clearness and you're like what? Um, so yeah. But this just helps it uh, be more opaque because uh, this is really opaque. But this just helps everything be more opaque and really beautiful looking. I love it. It's amazing. And it stains, the lip liner stains your lips so you're still going to get the same effect. Um, so I really, really like this guys. Okay, and then what I wore on my nails a while ago, I don't remember when this was. Or maybe this was for a tutorial. This was for a ghost tutorial. Did you guys see that? The ghost nail tutorial that I did? Uh, I'll link down below. Since I ended up talking about it. This is what I used for my ghost nail tutorial. All my nails have broken. If you remember me talking about the last Sassy Saturday. Um, and I was like oh my gosh. This screw my nails. Like it really did. But I. They broke. And I like chewed on them. Shame on me. I don't know what I was thinking. I was so angry at myself. Because they were like getting really long. Guys. Like. They were getting super long. I go for the ghost nail tutorial. My base that I used for all of the nails in that. I don't know if I exactly told you because I think that's when I was starting to get sick. So I was like, well, they don't have to see my face, I guess, this time. I'll just do this. Uh, so I don't think I told you guys. So this is I'm a Pool for Love, which is a really, it's by Nicole by OPI. It's a really pretty purpley, can you see all the reflections in there? A beautiful, beautiful color. Super cool for like a midnighty darkness. And then for the ghost, I use NYC Long Wearing Nail Enamel and French White Tip. Just a great white and it hasn't clumped up like the Wet n Wild Black. So I think if this has a black, I'm going to go for this one. If I can still find it because I know that they're getting rid of it like in my Target anyway. But I don't think of the other Target. So I'll have to go there like pronto. Okay. And then over top of the nails that I just left with the Nicole color. I put this over the top of it because I know Dinah wanted to see how it worked. If you didn't... If that wasn't good enough, I guess, because I guess it kind of really wasn't. If you want to see this more in action, I'll definitely do it for you, Dinah. Uh, because I really didn't show you, but I was like, well, maybe she'll see how it's used. But I don't know if you did or not, so I'm sorry. I just kind of threw this together like that. So if you want to see it more in action, let me know. But this is the Maybelline Color Show Polka Dot one in Clearly Spotted. So I love this color. Or I just, I just love it. I love the effect. So it's really cool. So yeah, let me know if you want to know. Let me know if you want to see it in a different video. And then, I went to homecoming with my arm like that too, guys. Like, I had it cut open like that week of homecoming. So for my nails for homecoming, because this is the color of my dress, I painted them this OPI color in a dozen rosas. It's this really pretty pink color. Love it. Um... And then over the top of it, I painted the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength No Chip Nail Color. And I think this is in something diamonds, but it's the really sparkly one. It looks yellow because it's old, but it's just the really sparkly, shimmery color. Top coat. And then I believe on my toes I painted this or something. I use this for something. But I use Bubble again, the Revlon Top Speed Bubble Shade, which is a really pretty hot pink. I really like this color, but now I have to put it away for the fall time. And then I was loving Sally Hansen Maximum Growth. I don't have it on. I still need to start painting that on. And then I'm wearing a couple of my I'm wearing a couple of my favorites. This necklace I got at JCPenney a while back by the brand Decree. I love it. It's just this little deer antler thing. I love it for fall and Christmas. Beautiful. Cute. And it's got a really long chain. So it like... Let's see if I show ya. It goes like, yeah, right? Like, I like long necklaces. How about you guys? I really like long necklaces. And then also my shirt. You just saw my shirt, too. Let me show you a little better. Throw this back here. Okay. 
Um, it's got these deer on it, and I picked the olive shade. They do have one that's white and gray, which I want to pick up as well for some for summer. For Christmas, it's a thermal top, but you can get it at Target, and I think it's by Massimo. I love it. It's long sleeved waffle top, basically is what it is, and then I really like these earrings too. These little tiered earrings, I believe my mom got them at like Elder Beerman or something a while ago, so I don't know if you can still get them. Okay, and basically that's it. I got my necklace cut. Okay, basically that's it, guys. Um, I'm going to have a video recap down below, and I, oh yeah, I lost like a lot of weight. I have lost, like, when I was doing, oh yeah, I'm done with all my steroid infusions too, by the way, so I'm not going to have any of those anymore, thank goodness, for a while, because that's what caused this problem, because it, like, lowers your immune system to get your steroid things done and all of that, and I haven't had, like, my, my shot at home in forever, because I would get it done there, but, um, like, my mom's like, I'm not going to do it because of this arm thing. I don't know what's going on with it, and I don't know why it's going on. But anyway, that's basically it with my life, what's going on in your life. Let me know what you guys have been doing since I've been gone, because I've missed you guys like crazy. If there's anything that you want me to try out, I definitely go check out this wallet review, guys, and go get you some wallets. These are great for gifts, too, if you know somebody that you just want to give a little something-something to. That's the thing to go for. So anyway, guys, that's basically it. I don't think I'm missing anything. If I am, I'll comment it down below. And you guys can thumbs it up for me to keep it up at the top. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. And definitely don't forget to thumbs up, share it, and comment. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.